Hey dudes and chicks and neither if those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Makeup for Lost Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing three looks with the Moon Slice Beauty Blue Moon Palette. The color story looks like this. You guys know how excited I was about it. So if you're interested to see how I got these looks, then hang out. I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but the shades don't actually have names. So I'm using that deep navy blue in my outer corner and dragging it through my crease with my Wayne Goss number 19. And then I'm using my Voldemort M506 to take that royal blue and blend out that navy. This is one of those new BLE brushes. It's comparable to the Zoeva 227. I'm just going to use this lighter blue to blend that out. Back in with my Wayne Goss number 19 into that navy blue to kind of build that color up where I lost it. I'm just kind of building that color up and then blending out the edges so I don't have any harsh lines. Back in with my Voldemort M506 to build that middle color up. Here I switched to my Voldemort JH33 because I didn't really like that BLE brush as much. It was a little bit too thin and small. I'm just going to use a Voldemort JH33 to smudge that navy blue along my lower lash line. Now with my alter ego number seven, I'm going to use that middle, middle shade of blue to blend out that navy blue on the lower lash line. Going back in with that BLE brush because it was thin enough that made it perfect to blend out my lower lid. Now with my alter ego number six, I'm going to apply NYX Glitter Primer to my lid. And this right here is that Beely Flat Shader Brush. I'm going to place that darker blue shimmer in the back half of my lid. And then with the back side of that same brush, I'm going to place that turquoise shimmer in the front half of my lid. I'm just pulling that lighter blue over the top of that darker blue to blend it out and make sure there's no harsh line in the middle. And then with my Wayne Goss number 19, I'm just going to reinforce that deepest blue and really get that dimension and blend. Now I'm just going over everything again, making sure everything is good and blent. Now with my Zoeva 230, I'm going to add the lightest blue in the palette as an inner corner highlight. So this is the final look, the manifesto, the pièce de résistance. I used my Urban Decay 24-7 gel liner in cobalt. I used my Moon Cruiser highlighter by Kaleidos, and then I used my 
Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond Balm. And I use my Black Moon Cosmetics lashes in the style Orion because it's all I fucking have left. And let me know what you guys think and let's get on to look number two. I'm gonna use my alter ego number five and I'm gonna go into this middle like royal blue color and start placing that in my inner and outer corner. I'm also gonna spend this entire video going, I'm gonna use this lighter blue, I'm gonna use this darker blue, I'm gonna use this shimmer blue, I'm gonna use this lighter shimmer blue. I'm just building this up and taking it well above my crease so that my, to give the illusion that my crease is higher and that I have more lid space. Now I'm taking my Kaleidos S1 and I'm going to dip that into a lighter shade of blue to blend that out and to connect the top above the crease. Now I'm going in with my Alter Ego number 5 to reinforce that deeper shade of blue. And then I'm just going to go back and forth with the two brushes to blend that out and make sure there's no harsh lines. With my alter ego number eight, I'm going to take that deepest shade of blue and I'm going to pack that along my lower lid on the outside and inside corner. I'm just using my AOA 132 to grab that lighter shade of blue and use that to blend out my lower lid in the exact same way that I did the top. I'm taking my Kaleidos S1 and using that to just blow that motherfucker out on the bottom. I'm going to apply NYX Glitter Primer with my Spectrum A16 on the middle of my lid there where the opening is. Now I'm going to use my Refer 02 to pick up that turquoise tealy shimmer down in the bottom corner and use that to place it on the middle of my lid. And then with my Spectrum A12, I'm going to take that deeper shade of blue-green and I'm going to use that to blend out the outer edges of the shimmer in the center. That brush didn't work that well, so I grabbed a Beely brush to try to blend that out a little better and grab that shimmer a little better. I'm just using my Voldemorphy pencil brush from the I Slay collection to pick up that light white with the blue shift. I'm going to spray the brush and I'm going to use that for my inner corner highlight. Then with my Refero 3, I'm going to use that to repeat the entire shimmer process on my lower lid. And add a little brow bone highlight with my pencil brush and then blend, blend, blend. So this is the finished look. I used my Bold Face Eye Wigs in Mega Babe. I used my NYX Slide On Glide On All Day Hard On in the color Sunrise Blue on my waterline. I used my Fenty Gloss Balm in the color Diamond. And then I used my Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighter in the color Jellyfish to highlight all my shit here. So anyways, this is look number two and let's just get into look number three. My brows look like 10 bags of smashed assholes. I literally have 20 minutes to do this entire look and all my eyeshadow primer is sticking to my lash glue from yesterday, but I think we can still pull it off. Is that a cat hair stuck to my lash glue? <laughs> do you think it'll give my lashes more volume? I'm gonna start quickly with the Voldemort M506 and I'm gonna go into the deepest color here, just a titch, just a little titchy poo. I always say that, 
but this time I actually mean it. I'm primed with my ABH primer because every time I try it, I actually really enjoy it. If you guys don't know yet, I used it for my look that I did with my Melt Cosmetics shadows and with my collab with Jessica. Now I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss number 18 and I'm gonna go into this purple shade that I loved so much when I did my, when I took this palette's virginity. I'm just going in with a really light hand because I don't have time to fuck around. And actually, I wasn't even gonna tell you guys what brushes I'm using because I'm gonna do voiceover on this. God, I'm just sweating. And then I'm going in with my Zoeva 227. I'm gonna use this color right here to blend it out. This color is actually very different from the color that I thought was almost a dupe when I did my initial review. Okay, well, going back into the purple. and then into the dark blue to just deepen up this crease barely and the outer V. And then right here, I'm just using the same brushes to do my lower lid and blend everything out. I'm gonna use my Spectrum A16 to apply next Glitter Primer on the lid. And I'm just gonna use that deep royal blue shimmer to place on the back half of my lid, the back half and the lower half. And that's the look of excitement that I get when I get to use an ABH dual-ended brush to apply my shimmer. I'm just grabbing that silver and placing that along the top of my lid along the crease to give it a kind of a lined effect. Then I'm going to go back more into that deep blue shimmer and kind of place, place more on there and then pat them both together to blend that line out. And this is when an idiot has an epiphany that they can use a real brush like the Voldemorphy JH41 to apply those shimmers and blend them out. I'm going to use my Referral 3 to apply that silver shadow to the inner corner of my lower lash line. And I'm going to use my Spectrum A12 to apply that light white blue to, as an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go finish the look and I'll be back when I'm done. Maybe if I fucking make it back. <laughs> so this is it. This is how it turned out. This is the third look. And I use my Kaleidos Makeup sk Skylighter. <laughs> Actually, they should call it that now that I think of it. So I use my Kaleidos Makeup Highlighter in Skywalker on, and I use that on my lip, my Cupid's bowl and the middle of my lip. I use my Bold Face Eye Wigs in Mega Babe and my NYX Slide On Glide On All Day Hard On liner in the color Platinum on my waterline. And I use my Unicorn Gang Shop Liquid Lip in Mayhem. I love this palette. You guys know I love this palette. It's like $24.99 or $25 or something like that. You get it on the Moon Slice Beauty website. This is my shit right here. I do have an affiliate link, so if you guys wanna purchase this palette, if you click the link, I make a commission, yay! And also it kinda helps me out to let brands know, like just to notice me or whatever. Like nobody ever notices me. I hope you guys love these three looks. I love this palette. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. 
hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love that shit. Like this video if you like any of these looks or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boyish charm, which you probably didn't see in this video because I'm going to do voiceover. And you guys could have been anywhere, but you were here spending your precious, valuable time here with me and I totally appreciate you. Later.